it going everybody? This is Matt Parsons at Beating BPI and at Mindful Mission. I'm going to do a little video today, something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do it based on, on music um, and playing instruments with Herb's Palsy. Um, now I started playing the drums at a very early age um, because it was really good exercise for my, for my Herb's Palsy arm. Um, holding the sticks and trying to get that movement. Um, I sort of stayed with the drums on and off sort of ever since I was around 10 years old. I don't really play the drums that much these days. I do have a drum kit and I'll do a video on that at some other point, but today I'm gonna to focus on playing the guitar. Now I got my first guitar when I was 18 years old. Um, I picked up my parents' old guitar, um, but I couldn't play it the, the normal way around because I can't get my, I can't turn my arm over, so I can't get my, my hand around, around the neck. Um, and I can't sort of get my fingers on the fretboard. So actually what I did is I turned my guitar the other way around because um, I can finger pick and I can strum. So I actually play my guitar left-handed, which is kind of strange considering my herbs palsy is in my left arm. Um, so I'm going to do a little video today to show you how I play the guitar, electric guitar and acoustic guitar, um, and some of the little things that I do to, to compensate and to adapt to play the guitar. So, you know, when we adapt, it's not just in the gym. And it's all that other stuff that we do, you know, opening doors, um, learning to eat and stuff like that, and, and playing instruments, and doing all the things that we, that we do and that we want to do, we can still do, but we just need to adapt it. So today I'm going to show you a few little things that I do to play guitar and hopefully it might inspire you guys to pick up a guitar and, and maybe uh, a, a different instrument. So I hope you really enjoy the video. Just yesterday morning they let me know Suzanne plans to make me the land to you. I walked out this morning and I wrote down the song. I just can't remember who to send it to. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. Since sunny days that I thought would never. Times when I could not find a friend, but I always thought I'd see you again. So that song was James Taylor, Fire and Rain. Um, I really like James Taylor, um, and I sort of grew up listening to John Denver, James Taylor, Paul Simon, and people like that. So it's those sort of guys that really inspired me to pick up a guitar years ago. Um, you can see that I'm using this little thumb pick um, that really really helps me um, finger pick. I mean I can finger pick without it. Um, but sometimes my thumb doesn't sort of cramps up a little bit and um, this just really helps because I have this sort of extra little bit here so um, you know you can you can use that one of those and and some people really like these things and some people don't but i really like it because it just gives me that extra little bit of distance from the strings um i think it's because the way my fingers sort of naturally sort of hold like this actually it sort of works really well and because of the kink in my wrist um it sort of compensates for that a little bit so uh, so it's a really really useful thing I'm only really using these two fingers. So every now and again, I'll, I'll use this one, but I'm only really using this when I'm finger picking. So, um, and all I'm doing with that is I'm really just using these these two fingers, I'm sort of doing this. And then every now and again, I'll sort of bring that one in if I want to do something like hammer-ons like that, and I'm trying to hit two strings at the same time rather than the one. So even with like minimal finger sort of movement, now I could, that's as fast as I can move my fingers, I can actually sort of play 
this sort of finger picking acoustic guitar stuff, which is really. which is really, really cool. Um, often I use a lot of open tunings as well, which kind of. which is a little bit sort of cheating, I guess. So now I'm in Dadcat tuning. Um, I'm going to show you a few things that I do how to strum as well. Um, so I'm in a band and, and I've, re I've released sort of solo stuff over the years. Um, I'm not an amazing lead guitarist, so I sort of generally stick to, to rhythm, but um, even though I've got this kink in my wrist, I can still strum. Give me the faith I need. Again, because I'm, I'm lucky that I've got this sort of movement that I can just move my my arm up and down. Um, I guess my, my strumming technique's not really in the wrist, it's sort of more in the arm. Um, so some stuff's, you know, a little bit harder to play, um, sort of more funky sort of stuff and, and, and being able to sort of palm mute can be a little bit difficult, but you just sort of adapt to that. Um, so if I was doing... Um, So I can still do that, I'm just sort of adapting, so rather than using my, my sort of palm mute, because I just, I just can't get my hand over there, I'm just sort of doing my own way and I'm just finding my way of doing things. And actually that's kind of cool because you don't want to always do things the same way that everybody else does and you kind of end up coming up with a new sound as well. So this is my sort of standard acoustic guitar. Um, what I'm going to do is show you my classical guitar as well. So this is quite old, I need new strings on it, so just excuse um, if it sounds a little bit out of tune. But...
So it's a similar sort of thing with <coughs> excuse me, the, um, the classical guitar, but I am using these fingers a little bit more. Um, I'm sort of using these. So I'm just kind of loosely kind of doing this sort of, allowing them to be really close. So I'm not using them a lot. I don't really ever use my, my, my little finger, um, which I should. But I think I'd be a bit guitarist if I did. There's some stuff which I find really, really difficult because I can't go really, really fast. And there's some sort of Spanish guitar playing that I can't really do just because my fingers don't work fast enough. Um, so I just sort of have to adapt um, when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, but it is it is doable. Um, I think the thing is, if you've got Herb's palsy and, you, and your finger movement's not not great, then it might just be that you have to have to strum. But there again, there are other ways of doing that. Um, I'm just going to switch back guitars. So one thing you can do if, if you haven't got any movement um, in your fingers, you can actually do something kind of cool. You can actually play your, you can actually play your guitar in a more percussive way. Um, again, if, if this is in sort of open tunings, um, you could... So there's always, always different ways to play a guitar. Um, so don't feel restricted, just have a go. If you really feel as though you want to pick up a guitar and you've always wanted to play an instrument, um, you can absolutely do it. Um, it might not be the same as everybody else, but that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of electric guitar. Um, I do play electric guitar. I'm not, I'm not a lead guitarist by any stretch of the imagination, um, but I'll show you a few little things that I do on that too. <laughs> Little bit of random guitar playing um, that Rage Against Machine song I only learned a couple of days ago, so it's still not perfect. But some things are really tricky with the electric guitar uh, because I can't part mute. Um, I find it quite tricky to get some, some of those things with this song. Um, you know, those and what I'm doing is I'm using. I don't use a pick because I can't really hold a pick, and every time I use a pick, it just falls out of my hand. So I'm actually using my fingernails, which is why I always keep these a little bit longer. So I'm kind of just, imagine there's a pick there, but I'm just using my finger. And so that's why I'm sort of less accurate sometimes. So if I'm solo, it's I'm just using that bit there. Um, so sometimes, you know, I don't hit the strings properly, which is why I get a little bit nervous about playing, um, doing solos live um, and doing anything like a little bit more, you know, uh, complicated like. You know, like because of the way I hold my wrist, I kind of hit these strings. And those 
use of palm mutes I can't really do with, with my hand there. I've got to try and use my right hand to do those mutes. But you know it works. Um, you know I'm not going to be a professional musician, but. Um, Sort of it means I can still have fun with it. So I really want to hear from you guys. If if there's anyone out there that um, has Erb's palsy, bracket plexus injury, that plays guitar or drums or or any other kind of instrument, I'd love to um, I'd love to see you guys do that because I think it's really inspirational for the other people out there that might be a little bit nervous and a little bit apprehensive about picking up an instrument. So comment below. Really, really want to hear from you guys. Um, I hope you like this video and hopefully it's given you a little bit of inspiration to to go and do something different. Um, and I'll catch some of you guys soon.